Dan's giggling about. Dan's ruined. <laughs> the Dan's one, ruined the intro. What happened? Oh. Uh, yeah, I've got an update, right? Apple oh. Apple Store 2.0. If you remember last week. Oh, the fuck me bar <laughs> with Mark. <laughs> so not the genius bar, the fuck, the me, fuck bar. me bar. I got a 14-day screen replacement. Mm-hmm. I got the call. I, I got the call two days after we recorded the podcast. Like, your screen's ready. That's oh, right. So 14 yeah. days it turned into two from a back chat fan, Mark. Mm-hmm. Right. If you remember, working at the fuck me bar. I remember. Uh, I've, I've headed in there, served by Mark, not mm. the same Mark, different Mark. <laughs> Mark. Pretty massive, select criteria. Massive fan of Backchat. Again, Great. I think we've taken over the Apple store in Perth. <laughs> or they've, got, the, or just, or they've just got a very strange selection criteria <laughs> for employees. <laughs> Favourite podcast and what's your name? <laughs> You've got to hit them both. Otherwise, you're out of here. So I've got my laptop back, bought some um, AirPods. Enjoy those. <gasps> so good. It's nice. a gift for Dan. Changed my life. A gift for Dan. Yeah, none for you, Hammer, just yet. Uh, i got some as well. Oh, I just wanted to shout out. I just wanted to shout out Mark 2.0. Um, mm. He's given us a discount on the AirPods. Don't know if he was allowed to, but he did. <laughs> and we've absolutely cleaned out the Apple Store. So I wanted oh, yeah. to start out. Well, you've and- absolutely cleaned out the Apple Store. I'm sitting yeah. here with my finger in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. What's it doing there? Do you want some AirPods? <laughs> I think the saying's thumb up your ass, but anyway. Okay. It's a lot of slipper digit in Appendage. there. Appendage. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to start the show with okay. that. A brief appreciation session for Mark's. Mark Squared. Mark's at the City Apple Store. Yeah, thank you very much. favourite podcast is Back Chat. Very Shout much. out to you, Mark. And who else recently um, was in the record saying that? Lockie Schultz. Yeah. Wow. The boy. Brilliant. Ruben Jimby was yeah. in there saying Back Chat favourite. Lockie Schultz was favourite. I don't know how many more. Scott Lyson was in there favourite. Favorite. Jeremy McGovern was in there. Said Joe Rogan. You, oh, I mean, you, you stupid fuckhead. Piss off, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, that's okay. what I want to start the episode no, with. No, that's good. I really like that. Backchat double underscores where you can find us on socials or email us hell at backchatpodcast.com.au. If you mm. send us an email, we'll probably read it. Mm. Um, if it's good enough, we'll also do it on the show. Uh, Patreon, huge thank you to our patrons. Uh, bloody good stuff going on over there. Um, <sighs> so Fleet Network, right, who powers this pod- podcast. Obviously, Nova Ted. Nova Ted Leasing. Um, no, they leasing. They put out an offer to our patrons um, very early on the piece when they first jumped on, and and it was a patrons only. Patrons only, mm-hmm. yeah. And we've we've given it enough time now for the patrons only to benefit from this, and now we're going to open it up to the masses. How mate, I don't even know if you know what this is. Nope, uh, uh, no, I don't. I know yeah. you've just been, you know, you're riding your whatever. What sort of car you got out there? Uh, the PT50, the yeah, Mazda. Right. What's, his, what's her name? His, Brian, name? his name is Brian. Brian. Okay. So Brian's out there. I know you're carrying on a little bit about that, but this offer is actually good. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Fleet Network powering back chat for season 2023. Wow. They are putting together an offer, first of all, for our patrons, now open to all of our listeners. Mm-hmm. If you sign and settle with Fleet Network, mm-hmm. Before we actually give this away, no date, no date. Okay. You got to do it soon though, <laughs> because sure. we have, because this is this prize is before the end of the season That's right. AFL giveaway. So yep. they are putting together a list of people that signed and sealed and delivered mm-hmm. via back chat, which I will say there has been a few of them. Nice. If you do that, you go into the running for a twelve seater. Talk to me. VIP box. Oh boy. At the football, and we're not talking the out. And we're not talk, yeah. talking the outdoor type where you get a couple of sausage nah, rolls at the front. That's not me. We're talking the chili peppers type setup. Oh boy, we're, we're talking. Oh you, boy, you rock up like an hour before the game. You stay for four hours. Yeah, I open have, bar. Yeah, I haven't been that blackout drunk in a long time. <laughs> Responsibly, so very responsible. Fleet Network. Mm-hmm. Uh, not only will they <laughs> save you. eleven sliders that night too. Awesome. <laughs> not only will they save you on a brand new car. They have opened the doors for VIP experience at the footy game of your choice if you sign and settle with them before the end of the year. I don't know. That's that good. I don't know if you wow. can get a better deal than that. That is a pretty good deal. We gave I mean, away, I've um, seen some deals in my time <laughs> and that that's right up there. We gave away grand final tickets last season for the winner of our fantasy competition. Bit shit. I would say that this yeah, is a better that. prize. Like there's no I travel won't. involved apart from yeah. You don't have to spend like fifteen dollars for a we beer. Are, we only yeah. gave two of them away as well. You can take t- eleven mates. Yeah, well, and I don't know if I have eleven. I think mates. we'll just go by yourself and drink eleven <laughs> mates worth of piss. <laughs> <laughs> Be awesome. You got to say we had a full house here at Back Chat today. If you can hear some giggling in the background, I'd like to actually hear yeah, it. Yeah, if you hear some giggling in the background, it's just Dan. <laughs> we've got, <laughs> we've got Damo, we've got Charlie, we've got Jaden, we've got Nick, and we've 
We've got Ronan. We've got five extras in here. It's a full house. It is a full house. Hammer <laughs> said no. Who said no girls allowed in here? There's a sign on the door. <laughs> There's a full cock off happy yeah, here. The swinging um, dicks club. Which is probably probably relevant after last week's episode. Have a bit of chat. Bit yeah. of good feedback from last Great week. Great feedback. Yeah. It's um it's interesting that the most feedback that I've got about an episode so far has been strictly about wanking <laughs> and just fapping and even that one thing that I said about that guy who jacked off my mum. So there's been some weird content said in the first 30 minutes of last week's episode. But, um, yeah, obviously our fans are all for it. My, my favourite feedback of the week was I had to pull over my car. I was going to crash it. I was crying and laughing so hard at the same time. So we appreciate it. Yeah, we Probably do. Won't, we won't be doing that again today. But That, that was with uh, Jared Madger who started Ooh. a new podcast with us um, on Backchat Studios Network, uh, Fat Chat. Yes. Now, so you, that's on its own feed. You can go and listen to his, um, his podcast there. He interviews athletes and talks about their sort of um, fitness, rehab, and all of that. In, Bryce Cotton involved. this week. Bryce Cotton this week. Luke Travers the following week. We've got Reese Vag the week after that. Wow. There's that many good guests that, that he's speaking to. Um, and so it's similar to the back chat. Like we do like a, he does like a good interview with them, but then there's also talk about like fitness, how they get mm. fit, how they stay in shape, how they rehab. There is like um, the performance yeah. mindset element. Yeah. So. Exactly. We watched one of them in here. He filmed over on the back chat set, and he like he did some good stories oh, and some funny stuff. Yeah, it was Des Headland, right? Yeah. But then he got into like about um, one season. He was dropped. Two thousand two grand final. He was dropped before the grand final. Mm-hmm. He then uh, the following season came back, got fifteen votes in the Brownlow, best on ground in the prelim, won a grand final, premiership player. Mm. How do you do that from a physical standpoint? One year to the yeah. next. Michael Voss's <clears throat> feedback is very good. Good operator, Jared. It was a great story about what happened over at Love, Love <laughs> yeah. Island. But he's a very good operator. It was um, no, that was very very good. It was great to meet him last week. And the last thing I will say on it, mm. and then you guys can talk about whatever you want. The last <laughs> thing I'll say on it is he obviously said forty two days was forty two nights. He was in there, yep. and that was a long time to go or to abstain from ripping the skin off it. Mm. And um, and I mean, I didn't want to go out here and say that I was going to do that because it would have been tough. But in my <laughs> yes. own head, I was like. I reckon I got that in me. Yes. And 42 days was was the was the mark and it um I probably took 15 minutes to get home and I didn't last 42 <laughs> minutes. So it was a good effort from Jared. Uh, it was a challenge that I was not willing to uh to to put out there to the public and if I did I would have failed. But hey, we get that, we move on. Yep. Fab chat. Yeah, it's a, it's there. Fat chats on its its own feed. Uh, have a look at that. Subscribe there. Listen. Um, mm. It'll come up on our YouTube channel as well. So if you're if you're a subscriber there, you'll start to get his episodes. They're very good. Um, mm. When's the last time you guys had a cold shower? Oh, I thought you were going to say when's the last time you had a wank. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, That's it. sorry. Get your head out of the gutter. You a cold shower? Um, why hammer? Uh, no, God no. Because I was like doing a, it for a while. That's like a thing, right? It's, you know, I was doing it for a while. We got an ice bath at my house. Like yes, there right. is a literally like one of my housemates has got this big meat freezer that he converted into an ice bath. Why? Because you're it, elite well, athletes. Well, they apparently, but I don't get in it very often. But it's um, <laughs> it's like one degree, it's fucking cold. Yeah, but and I don't. I like I get in there very sporadically, but cold showers not for me. The um, I I had one this morning because uh, I've got solar hot water, and if you don't turn on the thing, it, like and mm. there's no sun around, you just get cold water. No no hot water makes sense. Which I jumped in and I said it was pretty bad. Sco, you didn't think that that was even a thing where solar hot water didn't give you hot water. If it so wasn't sunny. so Dan comes in and goes had a cold water shower, and I've been doing that deliberately. I said, oh, what are you doing? What I was doing? No, no. I turned the hot water on, and there was no hot water. Do you have a solar solar power? No, I don't. So no. Dan does. If you don't, if there's no sun, there's no hot water, yeah, and like, he doesn't. Ha- he doesn't have a doesn't have a backup. So basically, in so Dan, it's just like during winter you're cold. That's correct. So any- now you got to turn. You got to flick a switch. If you forget to flick the switch, like an hour before the shower, you're having cold showers. But you live in like you don't live in, in the country somewhere. Like you just live in yeah, suburbia. I live in hockey, man. <laughs> you live in suburbia. Yeah. How is that set up happening? I don't know. I didn't build the house. Um, I just—I I didn't know if that was a thing amongst elite, elite athletes, and maybe I was sort of getting the coldies. It. Yeah, the cold showers. Oh, I mean, I've done it before. It's certainly if you knack it, it wakes you up. Okay, but that's, like, that's about it. That's about it. I mean, ask Jared what the benefits of it are, but no, I, I just feel like a warm shower is way better. <laughs> it is. Yeah, much better. Yeah, fuck um, having a cold shower. There was a guy that came up to me mm. at a, a waffle game. Two waffle games ago. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was there to see Scoey's return mm. and I heard from the crowd, Dan, Dan, look over. Hey, mate, um, you guys uh, sponsor our footy team. Yes. And I said, what do you mean? Yeah, you guys basically sponsor our footy team. 
He goes, before you leave today, I've got something for you. Nice. Right, so watch Scoey play his first game of footy in a while. That was, that was great. And then as I'm walking to the car park, again, Dan, Dan, I'm going to run to my car, grab you something. Mm. I'm going to hand this over now to Scoey because... And I've been desperately searching through my emails so I get this right, and I've just found it. So, <laughs> no, good. I've had it uh, yeah, thank you very much, Alex Coulson. Um, yes, good Alex. man, right? So Great man. If you remember last year in the footy season, we spoke about the Schofield Medal that was given out. Yes, right? it was the that's best. Right. And, it was the best and fairest for the social footy club here in Perth. Now, this football club was started in Sydney. Alex was a part of that. He's brought it to Perth. Basically. Um, Look, I really love the concept. It's for people that don't have the time, like Hammer, to be training and carrying on, like pork chops playing in the waffle on the weekends mm-hmm. and me for a couple of weeks. Uh, it's for people with families. It's for people without time to get together, be a part of a footy club, have fines, do all that stuff, but you don't need to play footy that well. It's not about the footy. They play footy on the weekends, but anyone can play. Guys, right. girls, kids, come down, play in a footy club. They do votes. They do a, like a Brownlow medal and it's called <laughs> – Thank you for Siri, that Siri. Uh, they do a Brownlow medal. It's called the Schofield Medal. I oh, awarded it yes. last year. It was incredible. Anyway, through that partnership. Did you wear a suit to the award night? I, so I felt like an absolute cockhead. Mm. All of them, in, a lot of guys in tuxedos. And you. Scully had one kid in tie, had a child <laughs> and this kind of kid. Anyway. Oh, well, you'll know for next time. Correct. I just wanted to read a little bit about Alex. So um, – a little bit of info on the club. While I was part of a Sydney social club of the same name, I realised the power of being in a football club it has on people's lives. I played a little bit of ammos in my day and always loved how much footy clubs get around their members in tough times. The Sydney social club was no different. On the last day of the season, players are encouraged to do a performance or trick of some kind as part of the final day's festivities. <laughs> Must try a, a kick of a footy or a beer can or something like that. But during COVID, a couple of the guys got up and gave heartfelt speeches about how much the club had meant to them during tough times through divorce, COVID, loss, family members, moving on, all of that sort of stuff. Having a footy club around you is an amazing thing and something that I feel middle-aged people really miss out on once the body says no. Mm. Right, I'm getting to that stage now, yep. Hammer. That might be irrelevant Same. for you right now. So this club is about <clears throat> all, allowing all ages, genders, sizes, skills to have access to all the great things that come with being a part of a footy club but not having the risk to the body, so mm-hmm. to speak. Although yep. when I went down there for the Schofield Award, I met a bloke who was in crutches <laughs> and had his leg in a plaster cast. He'd broken his leg playing for this team. Anyway, <laughs> okay. long story cut short, I'm here and I'm going to go off microphone because okay. I think I'm going to do this properly. Yep. I'm going to jump a presentation hammer. Far You're right. going to fucking love this, mate. Genuine. I'm going to take my headphone off as well. This, look at this. We have... Tell us what we got, Dan. All right, so uh, this beautiful <laughs> a- a- footy Guernsey, a- the hoops, <laughs> the, the green and white hoops. Uh, what's the footy club name? Uh, the Social Footy Club. Perth Social, so- footy, Perth club. Social footy Club. There's a, wow. there's a Guernsey for you, mate. Number 16. So 16, you can have that. You can have 16. We've got, uh, we've, got, we've got the number 12, so congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, Hammer. like the Western Bulldogs when they were doing that. And Everyone Bond- gets <laughs> their jersey. And what's it, who is Bond, Bond was sh- oh, shaking Bevo's hand as if Bond had never done it before. We've got number 12. Yeah, number 12. That is so the, cool. The back chat thing here. And we've got number five. So there we go. There we go. So Dan holds Thanks. number five up. Wow. Wow. Uh, I hold number 12. 12 up. Uh, no, I hold. You can, have, you can have that. I'll have 12. And we go 16. that. So we right. go. Do you hold it up, Dan? You mean you can get in front of your computer like an absolute dummy? There you go, buddy. All right, where your head is. Five to Stuck 16. Five, 16, 12. Do you get the numbers? Do you get the reference? Charlie, do you get it? I want to know, Charlie. No one else tell me. Charlie, five, 16, 12. Okay. Turn your microphone on. You got a microphone right there. You're going to be disappointed. i got nothing. I'm not disappointed because I knew you wouldn't be able to figure out. Yeah. 5, 16, 12. Think about every episode, guest episode we do on Back Chat. 5, 16, uh, 12. 5 for 16. Yeah. Under 12. Under 12. Under 12. Really good, Charlie. The boys are big fans on Back Chat. Wow. Dan's, Dan's cricketing prowess, as you can see here. <laughs> Carried Five on. for 16, under, under 12. 12s. Best performance in a final, deconst. Yep. Just wanted to say a big thank you to Alex <laughs> yeah. and the boys. Alex, really Alex awesome. a little well round of applause. Yeah. Really bloody good. Really good. Well, jump Disappointing. Up. I had last week at AFLW a wear your junior club jersey and oh. I would have loved to have worn it. I've got to say, <laughs> the, the quality of these. This is a proper, like, this is a proper BLK jumper. Really good. Is this, this is so how does this feel compared to big. proper... 
This is Can normal. we rag this, out this Castor legit. now because they're no longer with yeah, the West Coast? This is way better than Castor. Absolutely. This oh feels my good. God. I would wear this if I was playing footy anymore. I would wear it and back chat looks bloody beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, very, good. very bloody good. Oh, my God. My you send it. it uh, you make it and send it to us. You yeah. blokes might wear it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, not I mine. I'll 100% oh, I'll definitely wear it. Wear it. Wear it. Um, I got a new tattoo on the weekend. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not sure how we haven't started the show <laughs> on this. So uh, we last week we mm. put it out there last week. I'm gonna get a tattoo. It's going on a friend's 40th birthday, which was kind of glossed over. I thought. Yeah, it wasn't. It's was like, hey guys, what's going on? Going on a birthday? Just gonna get a tat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we sort of got caught up with the whole wanking, wanking stuff, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah. Well, there wasn't any of that going on at the 40th, but there was tattoos. Um, <laughs> hey, guys. Not the way I'm aware. I got the best party. <laughs> Everyone, come on down. So we, we, did, we put it out. <laughs> Shangri-La. We Let's did go. put it out for the, for the people uh, what tattoos <clears throat> should I get. And I'm happy to get whatever. I, I didn't really care too much. Mm. Um, and the overwhelming response was a, a fillet of fish. The foff. The foff, yeah. That's right. So um, – Leading up to it, it was clear that that was going to be the winner. So I sent a picture of the foff to the guy that was doing the tattoos. He was like, great, love it. I um, thought you were joking. But I think all of this has been a joke. Have you actually got – sorry, no. keep going. So, yeah, I actually – I went to this party, um, <laughs> went to the Fremantle Dockers game. We left at three-quarter time. It was so boring. Yeah, mm. um, Winning too much. Yeah, you're basically. such a West Coast fan. Well, it was Couldn't more like it was cold. There was mid-strength beers there. I thought, you know, let's get out of here. Uh, mm. So – Lined up, got my tattoo. Um, the guy had a printout of the fillet of fish ready to go. Lined up? Yeah. There was like other people getting tattoos? Yeah, there was a bunch of people. There was probably 30 people there. What? All getting tattoos? Uh, I think probably eight people got wow. tattoos in total. Um, wow. The first guy got a Frio logo about the size of a CD-ROM. Uh, on his thigh. You could have said it the size of a fillet of fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fillet of fish has gotten smaller these days. Disappointing. Did notice that recently when um, I ordered one on the weekend. Charlie, see over there was, what's a CD-ROM? Thought it was a weird comparison. <laughs> well, yeah. that was the size. I yes. don't know. No, donut, fair. Yeah. Fair. slightly bigger than a donut. Mm. Um, all right, I'll, do you want me? I'll show you it. Yeah. Fucking oath. So I will say I've been with you all day. I haven't asked. Yeah, the Stan's going, going off the mic. Um, oh, <laughs> it's smaller than I thought it was. Well, yes. How big, how big do you think I'm going to go? I don't know. Maybe your biceps just big and actually just you know yeah you're making it. Have we got a good view Question. of that on the, on the camera? Is that cheese? Dripping yep. down the side or some yeah, so sort of sauce. No, so there's the that, that would require an understanding of what are yeah. in these fucking. Yeah, I don't know what's in. I've never had a fillet so of fish. So the the top layer is a, um, a bun. Is the uh, <laughs> what's the what's the sauce? Tartar sauce. Tartar I don't sauce. fucking know, and mate. In, I don't eat these. And in the tartar sauce, there's little uh, cut up pickle. So there's little bits of cut oh, up yeah, pickle yeah, in, yeah, in nice. the tartar. <laughs> and then there's the the patty, and then there's the cheese um, melting is, underneath. My my wife ordered one of these yeah. last night after the Fat Boy Slim. And Brilliant. I, well done. I could not have thought of anything worse to eat. The bun is so steamy and soft. Did you think of anything worse fluffy. to eat than a fillet of fish? <laughs> yeah, I think I could. <laughs> yeah. Back full of dicks. A big bag of dicks. <laughs> yeah. Um, so no, that's that's it there. Yeah. So uh, um, didn't well, I, I would like to say congratulations. Hey, well, I thought you were yeah, joking about the, I, thought you were, I thought you were joking about the whole thing the whole time. And I, you were I just made me think I should I'd be happy to get more. We'll just Keep, I mean, not every week. I'm not going Once to, a week. Next, next week, Dan's got a big bag of dicks down on him. <laughs> uh, so that, that's happened. Yeah. I'm ba- man of my word. I we like are, it. We backed in. Well I don't, do you, you, how many tats have you got? You got any? Or one. just the premiership? Just the, the premiership, yep. Yep. Nice. I don't know. Hammer? Flex. No, I got none. Would you get one? Yeah, I'd get one, but like, don't know why. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. YouTube comments, put it in there. What do you want to see, Hammer, on his body? No, what, what would you. I mean, what's it, does it have to be a moment? Would you have to have? Yeah, don't know. I got not like I got nothing against them. I quite like them. I quite like tattoos, so you, but I just I have no reason to get one. Really? So I mean, could be a little end of season something okay. from the back chat. Fans, Where would you but, put it? I don't know, maybe I'm, yeah, probably on my ass cheek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. That's what, my right ass cheek is prime real estate for what's a back wrong chat. No, <laughs> <laughs> I just like the right one. I'm a right footer. <laughs> more toned, more toned, more toned on there. Mm. Have you guys played the more um, the new AFL 23 game? No. I have not. You know we haven't. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> you're, you're I, you have not. I have not. No. So Charlie has. Charlie's Charlie bought sent. It. Charlie sent us a photo. Earlier. Charlie bought it. He's bought, <laughs> the, he's bought the game. Eighty dollars. Wow. It could be one of the worst releases of a video game I've, I've ever seen. So, so, so people it, have been going on about it online. Yep. For the last two weeks, so it got it, the, there was this big launch party, and there's all these influencers there, and yep. Mitch Robinson running around with a fucking vlog <laughs> like he does everywhere now. Oh, it's just, oh, just good, you got to respect yeah. it. But it was there was a lot of hype, and yep. it was like three months ago, yep. and then yeah. there was no game. There was no game, right? so it's been in the works for ages. They've been calling they delayed for it. it. They delayed it, and then I think they had to push it back. Um, they had to like they had to release it because they pushed it back, and Greg at game development. 
that yeah. they're, they're getting the call going, Greg, we yeah. need to fucking get this the out, The season's going to be over very soon. Correct. We're going to get this out. And Greg's going, it's not fucking ready. It's not ready. It's, it's not ready. A- they didn't release any footage of the gameplay. Like, <laughs> I wonder that's, why. It's just like, okay, you're really sitting there and thinking about it being like, if this is all it's cracked up to be, put something out there. Yeah. Give us a, some footage of what it would look like. And after seeing some of the reviews, you can you oh, can see mate. why. It, it's it's going to be one of the worst releases of a game ever, and they're still releasing updates to fix it and patches and oh stuff like that. God, we'll Greg's say under the pump, we did mate. we did reach out to Big Ant. Do we? I did like oh. two months ago for a, for a pre release. Oh, copy. they were they were thinking they were like, you don't want it, boys. <laughs> <Just, laughs> so oh, yeah. we t- I talked to them back and forth a few times, and then they ghosted me. Obviously, they had other things going on. <laughs> Trying to fucking sort the game. <laughs> yeah, out. we haven't finished it, mate. Um, so, what sort of things have we been saying? Okay, so one of the best ones I've um, we got some video footage mm. of. Let's maybe let's have a look at this first one here. Yeah. Um, oh, a bit of audio. Very good. This is St Kilda. So St Kilda with a, it's a big <laughs> handball. <laughs> That's an almighty <laughs> handball. He's just handballed at seventy meters. <laughs> one of the other good ones I saw was um, Luke Shuey kicking a ball in the middle of the field, but in the middle of the field was the interchange bench. Yeah, that's and he was pretty. Funny. The ball through the interchange bench. <laughs> that's pretty funny. One of the best ones though is um, this one that we'll have a look in a sec. There's a, a coach doing something that he shouldn't probably be doing um, in a game. Let's yes. have a look at this one. All right. So this is West Coast v. Who's that team? I North don't know. Melbourne. It doesn't matter. It's West, West Coast, Coast North. Maybe? North has got it in Kicks their forward goal. fifty. That kicks a goal. goal. Zoom in on the up. <laughs> it's Simo. Why Simo. is Simo in the... <laughs> Simo's giving the couple oh big sticks. God. Can we play it again or not? Is Jade, that too hard? Jaden Stevenson. You don't have to if you goal. don't want to. But if we can, I'd love to say it again. Okay, let's go. Steve-O's Kick. kicked a sausage. All clear. Oh, oh. <laughs> Simo, you, know, you can actually see yeah. the second it comes on, it's definitely it's Simo. It's definitely Simo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Shit. It's, so I've also heard that the glitch in the AI is oh, the, oh, this might be it. Have a look. Give us a look. Put Adelaide playing on from the goal square. This play is the Oz kicker league. What's the Oz kickers coming up from the left? Jeez, he's not having a lot of defensive pressure. Port Adelaide, Brisbane running away from running him. Running through the middle. Going st- Oh, he's not going to kick a goal. <laughs> So this yeah. is how Nick Dacos <laughs> plays real life. I, I believe I believe the glitch in the system is like AI can't tackle or something, oh, and so you just you just can run the whole ground and, and no one. <laughs> that was a quick running of the ground as well. I thought that was yeah, how, many, can we also, how many steps? How far does he go before taking a bounce? I swear he gets halfway up the yes, ground. Yes, that's the issue of this. Clip. Let's watch it again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there he goes. That's a that's two, three, four, a bad reason. Everyone else is just on the other side of the ground, not doing a whole lot though. Why were they over there in the first place? Yeah. It was the huddle. <laughs> waiting, for the, waiting for the long kick down you the know, line. Back in Oz kick, everyone hits the huddle. Everyone just gets in the huddle. I've done that at an AFL level before. Yeah. Huddle. It's not, yeah. Like it's, um, Wush, Wush's game. <laughs> yeah. Look, huddle boy. There's some glitches in the game. Have we got any more? That's very no, that's, um, one of the, one of the yeah. things that a lot of people have been talking about has been the player rating system. So obviously, and that's a big thing in, 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 when the NBA 2K game um, comes out, it's like players <laughs> talking about uh, their their ratings and stuff. I wanted to throw some of the Fremantle and West Coast guys at you um, mm, and, and, and with some of their ratings. Just, so, brother, just, sorry, just before you do, I've remembered a couple of other glitches because Fraze McInnes has been sending me Great. a right. lot of these, just loving them. So there was <laughs> three-quarter time speech was given by the goal umpire. <laughs> instead of a coach, <laughs> which was pretty funny. That's good. <laughs> Same game as Simo. Same game as Simo. Essendon at their, th- at their three-quarter time huddle. Brad Scott is completely bald. <laughs> Just <laughs> like completely bald. <laughs> Just, didn't put Brad Just didn't put any hair on him. And there's other ones where – so we've this has been sent around our AFRW group chat. We've got one of our players. Sasha Coronova, who's like 23, has a full head of hair, and she's got the Bruce Dool haircut where she's just got a bald patch on the oh, shit. Pretty funny. The flying He's door. Done her, they've done her dirty there. So, anyway, there's just a couple of glitches that uh, I've just Very got good. off the Just top. imagine the pressure Greg would be under. <laughs> Seriously, he's just had a fucking hour. He's had a hour. Oh, yeah. who do you, Everyone's who, talking about it. Who do you, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Charlie's bought it. Charlie's Charlie bought it. 80 bucks. No such thing as bad publicity. Who do you think would have the highest rating on the West Coast Eagles? Player rating. Uh, Tim Kelly or Jeremy McGovern? Oscar Allen's their best player. You guys, well, you've just named the top three. Okay. Go, have a look <laughs> at really McGovern, we actually haven't looked at it. McGovern, 89, Tim Kelly, 87, Oscar Allen, 87. What's mm-hmm. like the top ranked guys in the game? 94. 94. Six of them, I think. There's Maybe 94. Three. Who Paddy would be Cripps? 99? No one. No, there's, there's no. Gary Ablett, senior in the legends. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Le- yeah. Lethal Lee Matthews. All right, what about Freo? <laughs> top guys. Top Guns. Brother of? Yep. Yeah. Andy, Fife. No. Fife not, right? Fife's, Fife's in the in the trenches. Sarong? 
Uh, all right, so we got Sean uh, Darcy. Uh, oh, yeah. yep. Sean Darcy, Sean Darcy, that's yeah. in there. Um, Cal Strong's seventh, eighth. Oh, there you go. Wait, so is Andy Brayshaw so, number one? Brayshaw number one. Is Fife number two? You've listed Darcy. No, Sean Darcy, Darcy number, four, number, two. number two. Number three, you haven't listed. Uh, is it Luke on. Jackson? Oh, someone in the back line. Back line, oh, yep. Uh, Luke, Luke Ryan. Ryan. Nope. Pierce. Yes. Is what? Number. He's uh, ranked 90. So McGovern's 89. Alex Pierce has never been all Australian in his life. Well, Played he's, like 50, 60 games. He's, he's, he's got a 90 ranking point. Um, it's quite high. Five. Oh, we love a back. We have. We love a back. Yeah, we yeah, do you know who's higher than Fife? Michael Walters, Caleb Sarong, Luke Ryan, and Luke Jackson. That's fine. We haven't seen Fifey play for years. Yeah, eighty six. <clears throat> Fifey's on. I reckon he'd be filthy with that. Yeah, he would actually be filthy. But didn't Tabs quite high? Tabs eighty five. <laughs> Tabs is eighty five. Fifey eighty six. Yeah. And they butchered that. There you go. That's not the only thing they're butchered. I don't think in the game. Old. <laughs> <laughs> the old. He's Ruben Jimby. What's Ruben Jimby? He'd be ninety four. Have you Five. seen the photo while you're getting that up? Have you seen the photo of Josh Rotham? Did you see what I put up yesterday? Oh, my God. Oh, on from AFL 23. Let me get you Josh Rotham's. <laughs> Jinby's 73. <laughs> he looks – so just close your eyes and imagine like a head that looks reasonably like Josh Rotham and then just like sausages coming out of his arm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the face pretty the good. Fra- the Frankfurt arm. The face looks great. Why is he so shiny? <laughs> I don't, don't know. <laughs> so sweaty. Oh, that's pretty very good. Funny. AFL 2023. Enjoy that, Charlie, tonight. I know you haven't cracked the case yet, but I know mm. you're very excited with that, mate. Are you excited? Are you excited? Mm. It's going to be one of the worst times of my life, I think, but I'm excited. <laughs> okay, very good. It sounds good. This morning on the Shoulder Footy cast, Skeet mentioned something that uh, like, uh, no one in the room had, had um, seen before or heard of before. Mm. So in 1978, <laughs> which is a very skeet thing to, to, to bring up, there was an elephant running loose on an AFL. Why field. are we talking about this? I, I don't even know why, but I why just... Jaden, why were we here. talking about the elephant? Why, why were we talking about the elephant in the first oh, place? The, there was a fox that ran onto That's the, right. There was a fox on right. um, at Marvel on the weekend. There was a fox on the Friday night. There was a fox what? running around the ground. What? I didn't there was a that. fox. Okay. So in the middle of the city in Melbourne, fox running around the ground. And wow. skeet said... Mate, that's nothing. 1979, there was a fucking elephant running around the ground. And I said, bullshit, never seen that in my life. Yeah, I think I would have heard of an elephant. Have a look at this, will you? Uh, if you're watching along on YouTube, elephant you can see this a little bit. I can't see anything on our yeah, screen we, right we now. We can't see it. It's gone, Jaden. That's cool. Um, Head of footies returned to North Melbourne. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an elephant. So apparently a cheer squad member is sitting on, on the elephant. It's a child. It's a 12-year-old child again. Please play that again. Oh Have a look. Oh it breaks moment, loose. An elephant went rogue at Arden Street oh in 1978. What are you going to do? It's an elephant. Why is there a footage elephant? Returned to North <laughs> slow it down. Ground. One mystery <laughs> from the bizarre saga oh remains my unsolved. God. Oh, my Who God. Is? Look, look, okay, so Girl there's a few things to note here, right? One, there's a child and an elephant right here in the <laughs> AFL. There's just cigarette. Sponsorship the Everywhere. entire wing, just Marlborough. How good! Yeah, and also if you listen to the commentary, it says at the end there's a mystery that goes One unsolved. One mystery from the bizarre saga remains unsolved. Who is the girl? who is the girl on the <laughs> elephant's back? <laughs> Apparently, so Jaden did some investigating a bit uh, oh. earlier. She was a, a, a postman now, so a postwoman actually. Post, postwoman, yeah, or a post person. Post person, uh, actually. Mean, yeah, actually, is that what it was, Jaden? Yep. Yeah. Posty now, but Posty. she was a cheer squad member when she got picked up and just placed on the elephant. Oh, that yeah. went rogue. Oh, God. Went rogue. Brother. You'd just be scared of animals. Oh, that's pretty funny, life. wouldn't you? All right, there's another, there's one more animal. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a bull in the Super that's Rugby League. fucking funny. <laughs> during a walk, Look during their walk, thing. there's a bull running on the field. So... If you can't watch along, you've got to describe this. There's this a is white bull that was dragging a, a guy on the ground. An and this, this thing is an absolute that rooster. That is a fucking weapon little thing. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's shit itself yeah. everywhere, <laughs> which it has. The poor thing. It's probably listen, petrified. Listen to the song. <laughs> Great. <laughs> they've, they've cranked the uh, some sort of national anthem to scare it down. Look at that guy. Think. He's being dragged along. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, that would it's, be absolutely- it's funny for the situation, but this uh, this bull is probably petrified and wants to. Oh probably yeah, he'd, be, he'd be a bit. I think the bull would be a bit. One scared. of the teams is in red. I reckon <clears> you're in more <throat> danger than the team in yeah. blue. That's very good. Yeah. Look at that bloke there, just going slid it down, mate. Correct. Stuck a hand out. What the hell is that going to do? That's <laughs> he's going to fucking drill his horn through your head. Speaking of animals out on a field, um, 
Oh my god! I've got another one to throw at you guys. So this yeah, has been so blowing up everywhere. This was oh, fucked. So Matty Ralph, Sorry, Gold Coast yeah. Suns, he's squatting down on the field, and he's for for the at the start you're like, oh, what's he sort of doing? He's like rubbing the grass. He's getting yeah, a feel for it. He sniffs it there, which is fine. Okay, he this is it. all fine. He's been, he's at one with it, nah. and then he eats it. That is weird. Matty Ralph. Maddie Maddie, it has been confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. It was a little bit earlier in the video, but that's okay, Jaden. As it plays on, it is confirmed that Maddie Rowell has completely lost the fucking plot. He's just eating grass. What? What it is? So Rowell is eating grass. Uh, he's rubbing it. He's putting it on his face. I'm not quite sure he's all there. Well, I think the weight of the world was on Rowley's shoulders early. <clears throat> he played like four good games and then all of a sudden he was in the top 50 best players in the comp. Oh, he was yeah. his favourite of the Brownlow. Brownlow. It was like, give the kids some, cut the kids some slack. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and yeah, but that's what I mean. It's a far cry from that to eating grass, isn't it? That is fucking weird. I hope the kid doesn't take his What's, appendix what, out. Is there, like, there must have been other things. Like, I know. That, well, like, you mindfulness know, is like, yeah. you're meant to get accustomed with your surroundings, to feeling the grass, smelling the grass. Getting aware Taste of it. the surrounding. Tasting is weird though. And I don't think he spat it out. I no, it wasn't tasting. He was eating. He genuinely mate. ate the grass. Feed. I would have loved to have asked. Because like he wouldn't have known the cameras were in there. He would have just been just doing his routine. The sure. thing I said before, like Fucking this weird. This is probably the, not the first time he's done it. It doesn't look like he's trying something for the first time. He looked very comfortable in what he was Didn't doing. Didn't he like a rabid dog, mate. He was shaking his head mm. and like eating. Like, what are you Did doing? he play well that game? Who cares, mate? Yeah, what? He That's ate a bit of look mate. at me, mate. Like, you're not doing that for any other reason other than, like, I hope someone sees me eat this grass and think that I'm an absolute lunatic. And you know what, Raoul? You've achieved that, mate. You've <laughs> lost the plot. I'm sorry. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't actually watched this video, but we got another oh, one. I just li- thought it was funny to watch. We've got another one lined this is, up. This is in NASCAR. NASCAR. Just play it. NASCAR. This is like two athletes playing along, watching along. Um, it looks like it's set up, but it's not. You're having a bit of a chat in the race. He said, Oh, sorry about that, mate. You know what? I'm going to have a little, don't do it. Don't do stop. it. Stop. He said, don't stop. Do it. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> what was like, that for? I don't know, mate. And then they just stop Pretty again. Pretty funny. I know. I like, I, that's in the NASCAR, mate. Like, I, I just, some What's of these going sport, on over there at the NASCAR? Some of these sports, mm. ice hockey, NASCAR, I don't know, NFL, they just, I feel like there's fists thrown when it doesn't really need to be. We don't see a lot of fists in the AFL. It's the jumper punch thing. Mm. As long I as you're can. holding a jumper, you can basically punch someone. When in the was face. the last someone <laughs> someone punched another player? Barry probably Hall. Probably No, I probably would have thought when Gaffy belted my little brother <laughs> and broke his jaw. Um, <laughs> yeah, that happened. Um, <laughs> Why is everyone quiet yeah. here? That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Now, <laughs> speaking of, I mean, before we you move on to yourself. the next sport, I was, <laughs> I saw it. Like, like speaking God. of like it's combat right. and hurting people, I watched a video today that popped up out of nowhere of a sport called combat juggling. Yes. It's like people are juggling bowling pins and trying to like wrestle and throw elbows at the other person to get them to drop their pins. It's <laughs> fucking incredible. They're fighting while juggling. Fighting while juggling bowling it's like pins. A, it's like, well, you know, like the mat event at the gymnastics. Imagine Inc- this, like, oh, that's not it, is it? You that's are kidding me. Slashing yeah. their clubs to the ground. How has this come up so quickly? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> is that Rotham from the video game? Look at that. running around. It's impressive enough that, you know, I can do that with the bowling pins. Oh, and he keeps juggling. Oh, my God, man. Incredible. Oh. Oh. Is that a commentary? <laughs> this is like this is dodgeball. Dodgeball. Ocho. Ocho. Very good. Shit, yeah. Um, that's very Anyway, good. that's right. incredible whoever got that up so quick. Well yeah, one last question for you guys. How much can you deadlift? Uh, like 200 kilos? 200. 200 kilos. Yeah, but that's like twice me. Like deadlift is, you know, what were you hoping he was going to say like 50? No, is that gonna I, ruin your no I wasn't thinking 50. I wasn't thinking 200. 200 just sounds like a lot. I could probably deadlift right yeah, you're now. you're a legend. Go on. Right now. Oh, <laughs> Fuck. Go on, how much can you tell lift? Got him. You asked me. <laughs> Got him. You genuinely asked me. Yeah. Nah, nah. No, tell Go me. on. How much can I'll you tell lift? I'm not doing that. Go on. Show your fucking video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is... Don't show your video. Ah, oh, yeah, this is funny. This- Got him. <laughs> is this me? Yeah. Oh, is it me? <laughs> Legend. Got Got him. Him. Okay, this is a 12-year-old deadlifting who just set the record. It doesn't look like much, to be honest. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Lock it out. Nice. He's happy with it too. 
I want to question what you're doing with your life if you're lifting deadlifts as a 12 year old. To be so really honest, 80 80 kilos was the what, what uh, mm-hmm. Mitchell just lifted. Do we need to be doing that as a 12, 12 year old child? Yep. That's impressive. Not really. Know. And he weighs how much you say he weighed, Jaden? 30. Uh, he was 35 kilos. He weighs 35 kilos. Lifting 80. He's lifting 35 kilos? Yeah, that kid was 35 kilos and he lifted 80. I feel like that's, that's pretty good light. Power. Yeah, that's I good mean, look, power that's to a cl- like a close-up. Look, at, he's just the kid. Yeah, he's he's a small Hammer, guy. Hammer lost 35 when he did a weight cut yeah, for fat Yeah, that's true. I lost, I lost Mitchell. <laughs> 48 hours. I lost Mitchell. Um... Did you bring that up for no other reason than oh. just to call Scully? <laughs> no, no, no. I legitimately <laughs> pretty funny if you did. <laughs> run sheet. Gag. Got no, him. I legitimately when I was like, Hey Dan, no, D- Dan's him? run sheet. Dan, deep breath, <laughs> believe in yourself. You've got this. <laughs> Legend. No, no, I just thought 80, 80 kilos wasn't that much. But apparently it is. Like yes. for a for a twelve year old deadlifting eighty. Yeah, well, that's, that's that's basically me. You know, a little bit more. I'm than still me. pissed off about nah, the whole t- asking honestly, me what I wanted. Nah, I was tell tell me, nah, tell nah. me how much. Is it over two hundred? None. Is it over two hundred? No, can't 200? remember. Can't remember. <laughs> oh. I'm not answering. Yeah, oh. yeah. You're swimply in the best. <laughs> <laughs> boys oh, are looking swimply. at us. They don't have headphones in there. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so oh. swimply. Swimply is the Airbnb basically for for pools. If you don't have a pool but you want to go for a swim. Uh, you can go on Swimply, have a look at what the pools are in your area. Ronan, have you, you downloaded Swimply? Why the fuck not? Nick, yeah. what about Do it right you? Now. Mm. Thank you, boys. Do it Get, right you know, now because right Dan, now. if we believe what he said last yeah. week, his pool will be on there. Uh, and is it yet? Okay, so this is the third <laughs> okay. week. Okay. Legit, the third week in legit, a row. This time, Bex right. sat me down and she said, I, "Stop it." I will say, enough but, is enough. No, no, stop. Yep. So Bex giving us the feedback that the set was looking messy. Uh, messy. Mm. So I couldn't find out where the Lionel Messi was coming from. <laughs> So this is the simply the best moments of the round. Of course, you can download the Swimply app. You can get on yep. pools. We got discounts for Backchat members. Uh, Backchat ten, I believe. It could be something completely oh. different. I can't really remember. But simply. The best moments of the round. Of we want you to vote on Instagram. So you need to Tomorrow. jump on. Yep, jump on our Instagram, our socials, backchat double underscore. Mm. You can vote on these three moments. I think this is a tight one. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure who this is going to go to. And I feel like last week we, or the last couple of weeks, you've given the people what they should vote for. So well, the last couple of weeks have been mm-hmm. easy. This one was. Is this pick on Scoey today? And then the other I, one was Ashcroft. I'm, no, no, I'm okay guys, with it. No, no, that's fine. So I'm this okay week, let's it. start with this first one. This is Collingwood v. Uh, hey, do what you like, people. Yeah, don't do let what us you influence. Like. Yeah. Obviously, don't let anyone influence what you do. But this Dan's is fucking amazing. I've never seen anything better than this on a football field. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think this is. I think this is better than Ashcroft's goal. Oh my yeah. god! I think that's goal of the year. I don't think it is. I think it is. No, I don't think it is. I'll I'll, I'll talk about it after, but I think that's goal of the year. Anyway, no, okay, go on. That's fucking. So awesome. that's my check in the goal square, falling yep. backwards, volleys the ball behind his head for a goal. Yep. Uh, while he's shrugging off, who's that that is? That's, that's the lizard. That's the, the lizard. lizard. Yeah. That you is about Pause it, please. Um, that is the lizard, Nick the lizard, Blakey. Uh, now, I, look, I'm i trying to think. Players of FIFA 98, I think mm-hmm. you'll find that's what it was. Ronaldo with the doof doof on the head, yep. eat your heart out. I'm not mm-hmm. talking about Cristiano, <laughs> nah, the nah, Portuguese. No, the original Brazilian version. Ronaldo. I'm talking about the Brazilian, little... Brazilian, yeah. Yep. He, he used to pull moves off like this. He would be absolutely eating his heart because this is amazing. Yep. Dugowie mm-hmm. on his left, 45 out, almost kicked an amazing goal. Yeah, it would have been a pretty good goal in and of itself. But and it would have been this... touched. He has volleyed this from – the only way that this beats Ashcroft, I'll tell you, Hammer, okay. is if it was out on an angle more, 15 out, where Ashcroft kicked it from. But because it's oh, right on. at if the top it was, of if, that, if he did this where Ashcroft <laughs> kicked it from, it would be the best kick in the history of any sport ever. <laughs> it's very good. That is fucked. He's 45 metres out, that ball has gone, probably apexed at like 30 metres. He's had to eyeball it, watch it come down, holding off a bloke and perfectly kick it straight. It looks like it's he doesn't fucked. even look where the goal Best goal, goal ever. So how are we going That's with the it? Best goal ever. Oh, yeah, anyway, we're not trying to influence. So <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to <laughs> sort your own. Yeah. Okay, yes. so that's the first one. Let's let's go to the yeah, next let's, one. Let's I'm going to have to bring the energy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Damon. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Philip 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 is that Philip 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 Philip
Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, brought the energy. Another replay. Oh, shit. It's pretty good. I'm that excited. I've elbowed the telly. That's huge. Good game, that. Very good. Thank you All right, so that's moment two of Swimply the Best. Let's go to this last one here, which is, you know, this is not AFL, but it doesn't matter. This was awesome. Gary Abbott. I think this the is better on. than the other goal. The carry on. Gary so Ablett's 39 years old. Yep. Yeah, he's also he's the playing. best player in the play? history of the game. How do you reckon the turf's looking here? Like, where is he playing? Mm, not Let's sure. have a look at the crowd. <laughs> There's six people there. Yeah. He's running out the boundary on his left. We've seen this at AFL level, this exact goal. Mm. He's got a bloke tackling him at the boundary on his opposite foot. I he doesn't know. have an opposite foot, firstly. Well, Let's I don't know if there. you get better than that, mate. I'm sorry. I think you do. But, hey, we're not influencing anyone. That is a fucking good goal. <laughs> yeah, so, all very good. Yeah, that's it's a gonna tight be a very, one. It's going to be a very tight There's one. There's genuinely 10 people watching that game. <laughs> yeah. Where is The crowd that? Went, was up and about, though. Where is that? It was Gary and his, it was his dad, his brother Nathan, <laughs> and his mum. All watching. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your three moments. My check, Philip. Is it Philip who or Philip Powell? It's Philip Philip Poo, Philip Poo, Poo I think. Phil, Phil no, it's not Phil <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. No, no. Uh, and then, and then uh, Gary Abbott. So we'll put that up on socials. Swimply the best. Swimply the best. Uh, bloody good. Get yeah. amongst the pools. Get amongst um, have Perth. you? So sorry, you very quickly just glossed over why. Yeah, you no, didn't I, I'm put sorry, guy, I can't. Up. I can't do it. Beck said no. So so what? So we're doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah. 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 Woo! You swimply the best. All right, Hammer, you need to get out of here because we're talking oh, about Bluebet. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to get yeah. outside and shut the door and yeah. put your earmuffs on, mate. Yeah. Well, I'm about to so that's not a bad effort. I'm, I'm not even slightly joking, mate. You're going to have to shut you can, your ears. You can open the garage door. We're talking betting. Now, piss off. Can I actually go this? Yeah, go, go, go through the piss. garage door. It's fine. Blue, right, blue bet. bet. Back chat bets by Bluebet. We were owed one. Well, we weren't owed one. You know, you owed nothing in life, and sometimes you get we deserve, and sometimes you don't. That's how life goes. And in betting, that's probably even more so. You just <laughs> things happen. You win or you lose, and we've been losing a lot. <laughs> let's true. be honest, yeah. right? Yep. Uh, we've been doing our best. We've been doing stat wars. Yep. We've been building multis on West Coast stuff, Fremantle stuff across the competition. We've done backman bets. We've yep. we're throwing a lot of darts at the double. We had hammer. Uh, to delve into the Taiwanese um, badminton Volleyball, championships. Yep. We had the Swedish uh, lawn bowls competitions going on. Haven't had a lot of results. No. Is so, this our, we had one win this season or two? Yeah. Or two. So th- this is the blue bet, bet, back chat bet, thanks to blue bet. Mm-hmm. And we do, we know this, right? And we, when we, when we may try to make sure this segment isn't about the odds, it's not about no. making money, it's about just having a bit of a laugh and a bit yep. of fun. But we do know we haven't been winning. No. Right? We are aware of that fact. It's like you play sport for fun and you want to win, it yeah. make, you know, but you're not yeah. playing to But if win. you're on an AFL list and you continue to lose, you're probably yeah. going to get delisted, right? So that's probably where we're at at the moment. Got to be honest. True. We want to win. Yep. And so I think we've had so many losses in a row. Mm-hmm. What can we do to remedy the situation? Yep. I, you don't have to look any further than the most the reliable – <laughs> The most reliable. The back line. <laughs> You've got straight to the point. The most reliable, consistent yep. uh, backbone mm-hmm. of any organisation, not football club, organisation. Yeah, yep. IT. And that's the defence. We're talking IT, right? Yep. You've got to keep the viruses out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm um, talking banking. Doctors, you got to stop the viruses. Correct. We're talking. <laughs> what other things fashion, are viruses? Fashion. You know, you got to you got to stop the sh- shop uh, the the shoplifters, right? You got to, <laughs> mate. Yeah, right? okay. mate. It's yep. all time high. We've yep. heard. <laughs> Footy though, mm-hmm. the back line. Yep. That's where the money's made. Let's be honest. So we go to the back line Great. and we say, boys, what do you do best? <laughs> what is it that you blokes do best? And yeah, okay, you lead, you lead, you win flags, you hold the team up, you save the midfielders, you do all of this. Mm-hmm. But what you really do well, boys, is you fucking spoil. Get the fist out. Right, so we got we went straight to the top of the tree of reliability and we put five backmen, the best backmen in the AFL, to mm-hmm. get five spoils each. Five plus spoils, get it done. That's all I had to say to the boys. Yep. Back chat bets, blue bet. We had a four dollar odds after yep. getting these five blokes into a multi. My, may I just add as well, <clears throat> you're not getting this anywhere else, mm. probably in the world. 
Well, definitely Five. in the world. I don't think <laughs> Japanese fucking markets are open for fucking back to, for backman spoiling in the AFL. All right, let's let's list the. Um, so who who do we have in our in our multi here? We had uh, Tom Barras. Yeah, he yeah. did. He did it. Brendan Cox. He did it. Jack Buckley. He did it. Jack Payne. Of course, fucking Jack Buckley did it. Who was it? Jack Payne. Who's he play for? Brisbane. Brisbane. The Friday night game. He did it. Yep. We had one more. Sam Collins. <laughs> Sammy Collins. Yep. Like you just need to look at that bloke. You yep. know, yeah, he get He's a walking he fist. Eats footballs. Yep. Five blokes have done it. Of course they did. Four dollars. It should have been one dollar. Should have been even money. Yeah. We, we almost we, we every put person 10, almost we, doubled it. We put ten dollars into Blue Bet. They give ten dollars back. That's how mm-hmm. it should have worked. Mm-hmm. But they gave us four dollars. Yep. Max bet fifty bucks. Mm-hmm. I bet on it. Fucking won. Yep. <laughs> and won well. Very right. good. And there's two hundred dollars in my account now. Thank you. Blue Bet. If you like betting and having a bit of fun, maybe yep. sign up. If you don't, don't do it either. There's yeah, no right. pressure. It's your, it's your call. But like we won, so. Yeah, that's it. right. Yeah, I bet a bit of how I fucking. Yeah, yeah, go on. Really good. Yeah, very good. Um, let's have a little break. We'll, we'll hear for a bit a bit more about Fleet Network and then Hammer can join us again. Are these the guys that are doing the VIP? Oh, boxing? yeah, big time. Holy shit. One of the best prizes ever. Okay. Question for you, boys. Looking to save thousands on your next car and bundle your running costs? Look no further than Fleet Network, if that's the case. Yeah, definitely. Where was the question? Okay, great. (laughs) Fleet Network are Australia's novated leasing specialists, helping thousands of individuals and businesses secure great deals on their vehicles each year. I reckon both of you tick both of those boxes. I sure do, yep. Individuals, businesses, well, Mm -hmm. at least you know what it is. Through a Fleet Network novated lease, Australians can use their pre-tax dollars to pay for a new or used car and all its associated running costs. Oh, shit, yeah. Do you know what running costs are, Dan? I'm going to give them to you, right? That means you pay no GST on essentials such as fuel included, insurance included, registration included, servicing included, even new tyres. I hate paying for all of those things. You know Mm -hmm. what? I know you hate those things. Do you know what you like? More money in your back pocket. Absolutely. That's what Fleet Network does for you. What's more, they'll source your choice of car from their nationwide supply network and negotiate exclusive discounts. Have an old car you want to trade in? I know you do, Hammer. I saw what you I've got an old car, but I don't want to trade it in. But continue. Let me see what they're offering. Okay. Fleet Network can handle that too. Simply drive your old vehicle in, drive away with a dream car. They'll sell your old car for you and maximise the trade value. You can't tell me you don't want that. Yeah, well, the Beats is priceless. Okay, thank you very much. As Novated Leasing and Salary Packaging experts for more than 25 years, Fleet Network will make your move to Novated Leasing simple and stress-free. Getting started's easy hammer. Don't worry about it. Contact mm-hmm. Fleet Network today or visit their website, www.fleetnetwork.com.au and feel the freedom of Novated Leasing. <laughs> Fucking huge. Let's jump in. Have a look at us. Tell you what. Does that look impressive? Actually, yeah. probably. Actually, you have bigger arms than I thought you'd have. Mm-hmm. Okay, now tense. <laughs> that was yeah, the best good. joke ever. Yeah, oh, got yeah, that was good. <laughs> got in. All right, no, but seriously, just going, how much are you deadlifting? Oh, I'm not God. telling you. Um, I actually really like these footy jumps. So do I. Yeah, they're very it's good. a good feel. I like it a lot. Text me back to my heyday. Yeah, we will um, I, We will have at East Perth, we do it every year, we have like a yes. junior jumper day, and I'm definitely wearing this. That's great. Definitely yeah. wearing this. Oh, what footy jumper is that? Yeah, it's a social footy club. Really powered people. by back chat. Are we wearing this the whole podcast? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Crap. Anyway, what's next? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, we've got. You want me to death how, how much? Is that why you keep No, 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 a video. Um, you're going to. So. Gonna... You got to understand that I don't have the run sheet no, in front of me, and what? Just, where is your laptop? I just stopped using it because okay. what happens is stay in the moment. No, no, I'll tell the listeners what happens is I stay exactly in the moment. I'm too much on it, and then when Dan fucking goes off like on tangents, I'm mm. like in my head, I'm like, this is fucked. Dan's gone off on his own. Gone rogue. So now I don't watch it, and I don't know where we're up to. Exactly. It, so plus just, he doesn't know when the, the big right. joke's coming. <laughs> yeah. So Dan's given me no warning off the back of this after we've been yeah. speaking for 45 minutes, and Dan knows I've got a memory of a sieve. I don't remember what I said five minutes ago. Mm. He's just giving me eyes because we spoke about something three <laughs> hours ago. No, it was like no, off no, the no, back okay. of the Fleet Network ad. You're going to start with this. Remember about that dream that I had? Come on, all right, <laughs> figure it out <laughs> now. All right, I did want to start with this. Uh, we've got a bit of a bla- uh, bit of an update for our long live uh, team, long live Jace Nelson mm-hmm. uh, fans out there. Now, if you remember, I spoke about my brother a few times on the podcast. Uh, he was di- diagnosed with AML, with acute myeloid leukemia. Um, incredibly aggressive cancer. Um, he's been going through chemo and therapy 
uh, with that through the last 12 months. He was actually mm-hmm. diagnosed close to 12 months ago. We're about 51 weeks from his diagnosis. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's gone through, he's had chemotherapy, he's had chemical uh, treatment, he's had blood infusions, which is why we did the blood drive, which is still ongoing. Mm-hmm. We're going to have an update from Jace uh, very shortly. But I just wanted to say from my point of view, a very big thank you to everyone that got involved. Jace actually mentioned some of our back chat listeners in the video we're about to watch. Um, from my point of view, it was always difficult for me to talk about. I, I do have a very private side and, a, and sometimes a public side, and that was very much in the private side. But wanted to bring this sort of thing to light. Um, Jace wanted a blood drive, a blood donation drive with Australian uh, Red Cross. Uh, we've all donated blood, even though Dan mm-hmm. took his sweet ass time. We did get him in there. Mm-hmm. Um, had a few mishaps along the way. Have you been back there? I, I need, haven't. I need back. to go back. There. I need to go, go back. back to it's hard. It's, it's hard. But it's a great cause. It's not that hard. It's not Should that hard. In I the know, next correct. week, seven days. So I want to remind yeah. everyone, if you haven't done it, if you ever thought about donating blood, um, if it was something that you wanted to always do and you haven't done, get in there and do it. Sign up to uh, Team Long Live Jace Nelson. You can do that on our socials. Uh, it's in our links in our bio on Instagram. You can find it on our website, backchatpodcast.com.au. But a very big thank you from my family to yours. Uh, the support for Jace has been incredible. And we'll get an update from him. And um, I can't remember exactly what he's says but it's moving in a very positive direction if we're going to listen to jace right now my big brother hello there team long live jace nelson got some great news i'm finally home after 50 weeks so currently in remission so the doctors have told me that i can leave the accommodation in melbourne at leukemia foundation and come back and live at home which is just so exciting still got a long way to go but you know it's just going to make me feel great being here at home with family and friends so it's terrific news. I got some really good news from Steph this morning from Lifeblood. So our group tally at the moment stands at 728. Oh, she too. Which, yes. you know, that, that's just really, really good stuff. And I, I'm so happy about it. Where also we've got 50, 50 new members that have actually joined us from WA. So oh, mm, yeah, we have. To, the, to Will and the boys from the Back Chat podcast yeah. who yes. helped to get that up and going oh, yeah. and – the WA people, very welcome to have you on board. Good on you. Uh, also, still aiming towards 1,000 donations mm-hmm. by the 17th of July, which is my 53rd birthday and pretty much the anniversary of when we got everything started last year. So, yeah, Pete and I were talking about it and we, we think that that would be a great date to aim for for 1,000 and let's see what we can do about it. Also, just quickly before I go, I'm not going to be doing any plumbing work once I get through <laughs> all of this. It's just going to be too much for me as you far as this, bacteria, dust and all the rest of it. Mm. But I'm really hoping to do some work in the area of mindset coaching and public speaking. So if any of you out there would like to have me come and do some work with you free of charge for the next month or so while I get myself back on board, um, talking about resilience, perspective and f- relationships with family and friends. I don't care how big the group is. It can be as large or as small as you like, but I'm more than happy to help you out. And it will. So just get in touch and it will be helping me out as well. I've got a very powerful message to deliver. So if you're interested, please let me know. Love you all. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bloody good. So bloody good, yeah, Jason. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. That's huge. So, uh, Jace in remission. He's had a bit of a, well, it's not very funny. He's had a bit of a rough shot. Uh, he's had COVID twice in the last three weeks. So, uh, some of his position is not great, but he is on the mend, uh, going well. So, you heard from Jace. He wants a thousand donations before his uh, 53rd birthday, which is the 17th of July. Um, I, you know, 50 that, from nice. WA, 50 from WA is bloody unreal, mm. right? Oh, yeah, that's great. Shit, shit. But is. I reckon we can do better. I yeah. reckon we can get that. I reckon we can get that target moving upwards. I've spoken to the blokes at Hello Sport who owe us a fucking donation. Oh, big time. Right? I've spoken to Tom. I've spoken to Eddie. Said on this podcast they'd do it. Still haven't done it. Wow. So a bit of a gun to those heads. Okay, if you're hearing this, go tag – go find Hello Sport on Instagram. I think they're probably just at Hello Sport. That's correct. On their most recent post, go flood their comments to say, go donate blood. 
Mm. Still waiting on that donation, Still waiting boys. on the donation. Seriously, go do it right now. Yeah, go that, there. That would be very good. I'd appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, very much a, a thankful thing. And we're going to get to a 1,000 Hamasaric and we can go in and do another donation. Yeah, we'll go yeah. in again. Very good, very good. <laughs> Hammered like, <laughs> like I just want to go for the snot. sausage rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Meat pies and sausage roll for Hammer. Oh, they're very good as well. And there's a nice little um, serving yeah, they are of very other, other biscuits and didn't things. Didn't you go and get that without even donating? Yeah. You just helped yourself. Mm. I, I was remember. very sick that week and I was there to not film Not sick content. enough to eat, not eat the fucking yeah. sausage rolls <laughs> out of the cabinet, mate. Mm. So this morning I came into the studio and I was really up and about and I said, um, got, a- got eight in tipping this week. Oh, so yeah. Nine. Eight out of nine. And Scoey goes, yeah, everyone got eight. <laughs> Most people got nine. <laughs> yeah. And it sent me right back down to earth well, very I mean, quickly. Yeah, I got eight and I have to tip West Coast. So you have to, yeah, for my work tipping comp. Wow. So think about that. Why do you have to? Well, oh. because we get deducted points if we don't. So it's one point for a correct tip, and you lose three points for tipping against West Coast. So, well, it's not. Well, it's not worth it. Correct. So is there any? <clears throat> I don't understand that system. There's no point. In, so you have to pick West Coast. Yes, it's just for the. Yeah. Why don't they just say you have to pick West Coast? They There's do, no point. They, they do say that, but it's just like because every now and again people don't do it. Right, but what is it like in case the West Australian newspaper find out that their employees aren't tipping? No, their I think it's just no, like a, it's Hammer a team can't talk about thing. Okay, can't, okay, Hammer can't talk about it. Oh, I think that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It's a team morale Still, thing. Okay, that's I also fine. tip West Coast in the, my West Australian tipping comp every week, which I am coming dead last in. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you get that. So mine was the the slip up. I I went Carlton over Brisbane. Yeah, I thought yeah, I'd back, yeah, I did I thought on I'd back some, him in. Yeah. Um, Friday night footy, you just saw it. Fox running around. Well, yeah. that, in that case, I would have beaten you because my margin would have been closer. I tipped Brisbane by 32 points. Yep. So well, that. okay, sorry. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I think we've got a lot of people on nine tips this week. We'll announce the winner on the Patreon part of this episode. Yeah. Um, but I will say the man who's leading the tipping competition, which I think is Mosh's Mud Crabs. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I believe that's correct. That's a great name. It is. He is incredible at tipping. Mm-hmm. He missed out on the $250 Canfield voucher this week by one point on oh, the, margin the margin. That hurts. Because I believe someone went nine from nine, hit the margin on the head. But Mosher, <coughs> yeah. leading, missed it by a point. He got nine out of nine and then missed the margin by one point. I I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> but I don't know how you do that. I don't know is how you're that good. Because he's also close on the margin almost every week. Yeah. It, like it's incredible. I don't know how I'm so bad at tipping. Yeah, yeah. that is Mosha. Well uh, some of the games over the weekend: uh, Geelong, Adelaide, Dangerfield, Dunny's hamstring. Did you see him get interviewed after the game by any chance? No, I did not. He <clears throat> was interviewed by Cam Mooney, both Geelong guys. Obviously, Dangerfield's were playing, but Mooney, a Geelong mm-hmm. guy, playing a little bit of North Melbourne. He basically gave a upfront, honest interview. Mooney said, "Have you done your hammy?" Dangerfield said, "Yeah, I had some awareness. Pulled me off. I've probably done a two or three week." <laughs> <laughs> Not a two or three <laughs> week hammy. That's a pretty weird thing to do on an interview, man. <laughs> I was happy. Oh, with, I've done a hammy, but just pull me off. I was happy with the honesty. Mm, We're yeah. like, why can't every player do that? Why? What? Mm. <coughs> Dangerfield's done his hammy. No one's even. No one would talk about it now. I was surprised after the West Coast game that Simo was like, "Yeah, we think he's done his ACL with Jai Cully." Why is that? Because usually they're like, oh, scans, we're just, you know, we're not sure. No, but I like that. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. I, I'm surprised they usually don't give us that upfront honesty. Yeah, and no, he did obviously do his ACL, the he poor did. bastard. That hurt. Who um, was the lad in the Gold Coast <laughs> Melbourne game that had the shot with like 30 seconds to go? McKenzie? McPherson? McPherson, that's the one. McKenzie doesn't play there anymore. That's Trent McKenzie, the, the cannon. cannon. Leg, yeah. uh, McPherson <laughs> has a shot, misses, game over. Yep. Same thing happened in the Essendon and Port Adelaide game. Yep, big Phillips. Big Andy back, Phillips. Yeah. Did you see him take that? Mark and what how he operated the back on the troops and said, "Lads, <laughs> hey, showed him the back because he said, boys, get on board. Get on. <laughs> I am going back and going bang.' He sunk the slipper into it. He kicked the, it. Was a pretty good kick. Looked like it was going in, and then it just fell short. But yeah, turn around. At least make the journey if you're going to turn. Andy back. Brayshaw's back. Oh god, yeah, he is, mate. I um, I'll get a stat for you. Right, I know you. I know you came out in the in the paper and you're banging on, and you, now you you're the fucking Nostradamus. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the prophet. Oh, shock! The best player in the league has a couple of bad weeks, and he's actually going to be good again. Like what mm-hmm. an absolute shock in the world! Yep. But this is the sixth time he's played 108 games. This is the sixth time in his career he has had back to back games of 25 plus touches, two goals consecutively. Right, I realise that's what back to back means. Yep. But I've said it twice, and I'm going to stand by wow. it. So six times in his career, he's gone bang, bang, 
yeah. back to back, 25 plus two goals. It's one of the leading stats. That's a pretty good effort. That's 10% of good. his games. Yeah, 10% of his games, he's gone bang, bang, bang. bang. That's a good effort. But he's yeah, elite. He, um, he's a pretty good player. He's elite. Um, last one. Collingwood, Sydney, don't know how much of you saw it. I've been I banging on about game. Okay. So Nick Dacos, tag him. Sydney, tag him. Go hard at him physically. They put him off his game. Uh, and then they stop. They stopped at three-quarter time. They had to. They had to open the game up. So mm-hmm. he had 16 touches up to three-quarter time. He finishes with 25. It was 100% working. They were in the game. The only reason they weren't winning Sydney is because they couldn't make the most of their yep. opportunities in front of goal. They, they were in front of Collingwood in all categories. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they go in at three-quarter time, scores level pretty much, and then Collingwood wipe them. But I get on social media afterwards and I see media types, people, just normal punters saying the physicality against Dacos, why were they doing it? Why did they pick on him? Uh, I saw one saying I wouldn't want to see children. I wouldn't want my children to be watching the physicality. They went at Nick Dacos. Sydney went at the best player in the competition in Nick Dacos, stopped him, mm. gave himself a chance to win, and, and then, I didn't see any positive coverage over it. Yeah. They're the first team to fucking tag him, and it worked. Yeah, I don't. I have. So I why did they stop it then in, for the fourth quarter? <clears throat> got to let they get. Got to have a throw at the stumps to win. Collingwood kicked the first two goals and then down by it. three goals. Mm. So are you going to keep tagging a bloke out of the game to not get touches, or are you going to try, try win. and win the game? Mm. They, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm a bit baffled by it too because I've been saying for the last, well, I've been thinking to myself for the last two months, like when are they going to start tagging? I mean, I get he's 19, I get he's young, but like. The bloke fucking dominates every week. He's their best player. He's so tag just, He's almost the best player in the comp at the moment. Tag Didn't he say after the game he the was like, bond. I love getting tagged? <laughs> Did he? Yeah, pretty sure. He was like, yeah, I love getting the tag. Why? Because they interviewed him post-game. I don't know because they were probably talking about the physicality and stuff and he was like, yeah, I love it. I don't or reckon like, you do. That's when you get a shit nickname. You're like, oh, I love the nickname. I really like it. Yeah. No, he doesn't <laughs> well, like it. Yeah. Mate, don't like, what, you want to just get tagged out and not have 40 and kick three? Yeah. I don't reckon he does. Well, I think because he had a good final quarter and they won, he was like, yeah, that's good. He didn't have the tag on him. Yeah, yet. he didn't have the tag on him. But, like, also he's super fit. He can play forward, back and mid, and he takes the kickouts from anywhere on the ground. So, like, getting tagged is shit. But if you're going to get 10 free touches every game because you're taking the kick-ins, sweet. Just so we know, Bonten Pally is the best player in the game. Oh, if yeah, we're God, he's, he's yeah, well, Jaden's given us um, – Did you see what oh, There you go. Dacos said after the game. We love it when I get when I get a tag. We think we can manipulate the opposition, get a one versus none, so it's a good thing for us. I've always got my teammates' support, which I love. There was plenty of banter, but all good fun. No, He's talking about we and not me. I like it. Which I like. Yeah. I, I like. Mate, that's mature. There's not much you can't respect about Nick Dacos. He does a lot of things right. Mm. He's not eating grass in the middle of the MCJ. I can tell <laughs> that's you that. Right. His, nickname, his nickname's a bit. Did you, have you heard the whole story behind Whispered? Whispers Dacos? No. No. That's his Instagram name, Whispery Nick or whatever it is. And apparently, not quoting you, Nick, but I have heard on the f- from a few different people that that's a uh, that's a self-named nickname, Whisper Dacos, because apparently before he got drafted, everyone knew who he was and you could hear, oh, that's Nick Dacos, that's Nick Dacos. Oh, oh so boy. So, yep, the self-proclaimed nickname. Yeah. Oh, do you want a good nickname? Yep. Clive Waterhouses? Mm-hmm. The tripod. Oh, shit, yeah. Do, do what you want with that. Figure that out. Fra- <laughs> Big horse, Fraser McInnes, was talking to me about um, Rory Sloan's nickname. The tripod. The tri- his, Rory Sloan's nickname, Batman, and just walked in the club for, you know, when the, you, you say, what's your nickname and whatever, um, you know, what's your nickname, mate? Batman. No questions asked. It's been Batman for 15 years. He just years. made it up. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. <laughs> no one knows. But yeah, Batman. Awesome. I want the tripod on this podcast, just mm. saying. That is We've it. tried. I've got his number. Oh, where was that? Two got, years ago. I got it two days ago. Oh, great. So I didn't Call have him. it two years ago. <laughs> the tripod. I was too busy deadlifting. Keep going. <laughs> the Backchat Backman Award. Oh, boy, it's heating up. and Isn't it ever? Mate, we've heard – I heard a stat before that – anyway, so we, we'll get to that. Thank you. Round okay. eight. Um, we have, got we officially three named, have we officially named it? Yeah. Uh, Backchat yeah, Backman Award. What, the, Je- the Jack Buckley Award? <laughs> the Jack Buckley Award or <laughs> well, just wait for, him, wait for him to win it? So – so we actually didn't put it up on socials. I, I'm no, not sure why it didn't, didn't go up. That was probably my disorganisation. But uh, Jack found it. out he got three votes last week. I'll get it. Um, he was, look, fair to say, a bit overwhelmed mm. with the, I mean, the enormous nature. Again, we talk about it all the time, but the Coleman, the Brownlow, the Backchat Backman <coughs> Award. I yeah. mean, they're the Carries three lines. Weight. Jack Buckley is a listed yeah. player, playing very well right mm. now for the GWS yep. Giants. He had something to say about it. Tuesday, 5.14 p.m. <laughs> Can you just timestamp every one of these texts? There's about 10 of them. <laughs> yep. So the first one came in at 5.14 p.m. Oh, my God. 5.15 p.m. I got another three votes. <laughs> also 5.15 p.m. 
and I'm top of the leaderboard. <laughs> Five sixteen PM. I can't stop pinching myself thinking this is all just a dream. <laughs> 5.17 p.m. So three minutes he's been typing. <laughs> Have you replied to any of these? Or Not no? yet. <laughs> three minutes he's been typing all this. I can't thank the best podcast in Australia enough. <laughs> for not only what you do mm. for all Backmen all mm. around the country, yeah. but what you have done for my self-belief. Hashtag Backs win premierships. <laughs> oh, yeah, hell yeah. I, can we know, Can we call Can we call it? Even feels lovely. premature. I he want has to uh, win. If he wins it. If he wins it, it's, wins it, it's yeah. the Jack Buckley. Forever. 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 The inaugural yeah. winner, I think we back him in. I might just tell him what the criteria is. I actually is. don't know who we've given the votes to this week. You're going to have to talk me through. So there's only what? three names. They're clear. Go, go from the top, I reckon, this week. Has go anyone, three yeah. votes. Has three anyone else figured it out, the uh, criteria? We've only had one person figure it out. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. so you know. want me to start on three? Yeah, I want you to go th- three. I want the three okay. votes first. Three votes? Yep. H. Andrews. Harris. Harris Andrews. Yep. The big beast. What's that? The big, the big, the big Lebowski. I don't know what <laughs> the, the big beast in the back line yeah. for Brisbane. The yeah. three B's. A little back Brisbane beast. Yeah. Harris Andrews. He's yep. amazing. Mm. Three votes for the big fella. I, he's he's just an absolute golden fist back yeah. there. Isn't he? What? Two votes. T. Barras. Oh, Let's go Steve yeah. Thomas. Boy. Leadership just slathered all over his mm. face. He walks out the race. I saw him walking out with one of those, uh, the the the, you know, the kids that get to come out in the banner and TB had him under his arm. And yeah. He could see the kid was just like ready to. Oh yeah, would have grown run through a, run through a brick wall for him. Mm. Imagine what he does for the men that are playing next to him. Oh, shit, yeah. Tell you what, Tom Barras I mean, too. You, you got to have that. What? The, the men that play next to him. You were one of those men. That's right. But he's matured since I left the football club. Yeah, I think he's gone to another level. Okay. He, you would have been that for him, I think. Mm, mm-hmm. That's a very good point, the Hammer. <laughs> Imagine been if there was a back chat back from the when I was around. Next year, yeah. when he um, when he takes on the captaincy, uh, yes. maybe in his speech, that say, will happen. That, that, 100% yeah, that will happen, happen, and he will thank you. I think Oscar Allen's a good player too, though. But he's a forward, so we don't care about him. He, he debuted as a backman. Mate. You remember that first game he was a backman? Really? I do. It was Pretty amazing. sure. Didn't he also play in the ruck that game and in the forward line? <laughs> I don't know, but he, I remember he one everywhere. of the first things he ever did on a football field. He chased someone down with all his might, fell over, slipping and sliding all over the place, but get, managed to regather and smother at a certain goal. Nice. That was his first action. I was Huge. like, Brilliant. kid's going to be amazing. Yeah, yep. great. <clears throat> and then one vote? One, one vote. vote. Jay Buckley. Yeah. Oh, yes. my goodness. My goodness. Uh, so just stretching the lead. What's the leaderboard? So the leaderboard now. now we've got Jack Buckley on nine votes, oh. Tom Barras on five. Oh my god, he's and a full Asaba game Radaglia clear. And he's Harris a Andrews. full game clear. <laughs> what is it? Radaglia. Asaba Radaglia and Harris Andrews tied on third place with four votes. Oh my god! So Jack, f- give me a top five. Is f- uh, then Sam Collins, then Brennan Cox. Have, just listen to how good those names are, mate. This award is <laughs> it's unsurpassed and unmatched across so the AFL industry. Jack Buckley's. Four votes clear, which puts him at l- more than a game clear. That's right. I got Unless we decide <laughs> so halfway so through so the season so to start doing double points correct. or double rounds. We, we, no, no, no. we might. So I got the text message last week, Tuesday, at 5.14 p.m. Mm-hmm. Western Standard Time. Right. Correct. Overs and unders, 5 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Oh when do I, when do I get the text? The when do I get the text? Does that, mean, from Jack? does that mean Jack's tuning in? Like because this drops at Day seven a.m. Yeah, he's yeah. tuning in for this. Yep. Which I mean, unsurprising. I yeah, assume all Batman do this Correct. across the competition. Mm. Yeah, either that or he's got a mate that listens that text him. So what are we giving him overs? And I'm, I'm going, going unders. unders yeah. I'm going unders. So does that mean he's going to text you before five? Yeah, I think he's going to text me before five yeah, o'clock I do my too. time, which is seven o'clock over there. I do too. Very good. We're all in the same. Everyone's in the unders camp. Tomorrow's guest. Oh, Hammer, you don't know about this. Nope, Chris Lynn. Chris Lynn, wow, we speaking of crime dimes, <laughs> Lynn yes. Sanity, oh, mate, Lynn Sanity, the most sixes I think in BBL history. Yep. Thank God. Uh, we're talking Brisbane Heat. We're talking my guy Linny. Uh, he had to move to the Adelaide Strikers because they didn't want him anymore. But yeah, yep. he's a big boy. This he's is correct. Boy. This hit, is all. I think bloody he hit correct. it out of the stadium at the Gabba. He did. God, king. Yeah. Good it, chat, very good chat. Um, also a king in India as well. Oh yeah, they um, love him. So they, they do love him there. Um, it's just really good. It was really good breaking down how that whole process works about the auction the system. Yeah, Who the does IPL. He play for in the IPL. Oh mate, I went through his team. Mate. He's I gen- think he's recently played the Night Riders. Cold cut of Night Riders. Yeah, yep. he genuinely have a look at, look at that beautiful head. specimen <laughs> of a man. <laughs> hey, yeah. He was just great in breaking things down. Like it was. It was no filter, yeah. just spoke his mind. He was on a little swivel chair. He was just rocking back side yeah. to side. Let me tell you about this, boys. I'll, yeah. I'll break it right down for you. It was very good. He Lenny. talked about when he was in the nets um, before a final mm. and the auction was happening and they were calling out numbers to him while he's in the nets um, and he was just hearing these like million. Like the- what his, his figure was. 
Yeah, in the IPL option. Uh, he also told one of the better stories that I've heard about Darren, <laughs> Darren Lee. Actually, about three of them. <laughs> yeah. like, tell us another funny Sounds story. He's like, like well, actually, Buff did this. <laughs> yeah. Shit. So <clears> tune <throat> into that. It'll be good. Cricket stories are great, aren't they? Yes. Have that- I told you the story about my pop playing against uh, the West Indies? No. What? So my pop was an exceptional cricket player. For right? Australia. Well, he was a very, very good WA player. Some people in his era say he's probably the best – uh, Sheffield Shield cricketer not play Gee, test okay. cricket. Oh, so he shit. played – anyway, he played a lot of te- – the last Australian on home soil to take 10 wickets in a first-class innings. So he took 10 for 44 against uh, – I think it was Victoria. Anyway, Shitting so Pop was good. Five, Expensive, six, 44, so, but yeah, sure. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, Pop was pretty good. So back in the day, they used to have international teams come and tour Australia yes. but would play the Sheffield Shield sides before playing Australia mm-hmm. in a test match. So – the West Indies were over, and I'm not. Sure, you, do you know much about cricket? No, oh, I'm interested. Okay, so they have. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, bat ball. Yeah, the West Indians. The West Indians traditionally were very, very big, tall, fast bowlers. Yes, yeah, yeah. And Joel, Am- Joel Garner, Kurtley Ambrose, all these guys are lightning quick and just big, intimidating men. Anyway, Pop is uh, doing a radio interview after a day's play, um, and they all shared the same the same showers. WA boys would wait for the West Indies to get in there, obviously, for, for you know, for obvious reasons. Let these big, ginormous yes. West Indians. Can we get a photo of Joel Garner up, please? Yeah. Oh, that'll Very that'll tie good. into the story. So, Pop's doing this radio interview. He's talking to this guy and John Inverarity, who's the coach at the time. Uh, sorry, the captain at the time. Mm. Just he is as straight as six o'clock. This bloke. He just does <laughs> never phrase from the line, and he's very proper. He was a hail headmaster. He's very, very straight. straight dude. Old boy. Old fella. Anyway. Old comes out there and says, idiot. Sticks, come inside, mate. That's Joel Garner. <laughs> <Okay>. <clears throat> Sticks, yeah. come on, mate. you got to come inside. No, no, sorry. I can't. I'm doing this. Sticks, come on. you got to come inside. No, mate. What are you doing? I'm in the middle. Sticks, you have to come inside right now and have a look at Joel Garner's cock. <laughs> and Pop just goes to the interview. Sorry, mate. I've just got to go inside real quick. Takes the headphones off, walks inside. Goes into the change rooms and it's like a scene in Scooby Doo. You know when like they all poke their heads around the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. ten West Aussies poking their head around the corner. Pops come in and joined into number eleven. All all the other West Indies had done, and Joel Garner was in there by himself. And Pops quote and wanting his own business. Oh boy. <laughs> Pops quote to this day. <laughs> the bottom eight inches had a mind of its own. <laughs> That's the quote. The bottom eight inches as opposed to the top eight. My goodness. Cricket stories are the fucking best. <laughs> you send it, we read it. Oh, man. Oh, you send it, we read it. How about, I'll tell you what, mate. That is fucked up. Pretty mate. funny. <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, we got Good on you, Pop. You send it, we read Yeah, we do actually. Um, Thanks to Level Cameras, of course, Lydia Obviously. and the crew over there supply us all the things that we use, all the things that we need for our podcast, mics, stands, uh, camera cameras, bags. Camera, camera, bags. camera bags, of course. Camera bags. Um, they're about to open a burger bar there, which is going to be huge. Oh. There will be a back chat burger there oh. as well. Yeah. Um, I, um, I think yeah. opening night of the burger bar. Yeah, obviously the fight. fight. I watched I watched USC fight. on the weekend and Aljamain mm. Sterling, Henry Cejudo, and I just thought, well, this is good, but like, <laughs> yeah. I can't wait card. to see Lydia V. Cons. Oh, uh, that'd be awesome. Okay, this one's from Drew Forrest, uh, Forrester. G'day, Will. Not sure you'd know this, but some of your ex teammates in Mark Lacra and Josh Kennedy have decided to join Harry Taylor and play a game for Northampton Football Club. I did say that. Up in the Great Northern Football League on the 16th of July as a curtain raiser for a waffle game. Uh, Day happen- before Jace's birthday. There you go. There you go. So donate blood, then go there. Thousand, yeah. Um, well, I'm not going. No, let's okay. stay up. They, I'm not playing. They can. Oh well, we never know. Maybe this email. I haven't read this email. Yet. Okay. <laughs> I'd have no problem with this generally, but the game they chose to play is against my team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you he's going to ask you to play. We me. recently won the wooden spoon last year, oh, and it seems unfair well. for one of the top teams to load up against the bottom side. Yeah. So what I was hoping for is to try <laughs> and make it more fair. I was wondering if your uh, your thoughts on playing for Towns Football Club and lining up against your old teammates. Fuck. I'm not asking for a win. I just don't want to lose by over 200 points. Well, you've won the wooden spoon. Who did you say? Harry Taylor, Harry Taylor Kennedy, Josh Kennedy and, and Mark Lacra. Lacra. Yeah. How many Australians have those boys That's got between them? Best and fairest, Nine. premierships. Leading goal kickers, Coleman medals. Got to be honest, I've got no interest in getting my pants proverbably and – that can say that right – and literally getting pulled down. Physically on the and metaphorically like, pulled down. Yeah, Absolutely. 
Can you imagine the blood bathing I would cop in a defense and a back line? Hey, I love back lines, but if you've won the wooden spoon last year and you have those three blokes, Harry Taylor's a forward, by the way. Yep. Yeah. He played, played in the back line as a you know, great bloke, but he's a forward. So you've got Harry Taylor, Josh Kennedy, and Mark McCrae. So what g- the fuck am I going to do? To give you a, like, I'm not. I'm sure you might have heard this story, but the, um, the level of competition compared to Harry Taylor and co, obviously, is the, the gap's quite large, but. He played in a Cyclone Relief game last year, Harry Taylor, after Cyclone Sarosia, and someone was going to donate $1,000 for every goal that he kicked. And he played back for the first three quarters and like ran forward and kicked four or something. <laughs> played played full forward for the last quarter and kicked seven. Wow. So, <laughs> so no, like, unfortunately, Towns, love you, but no interest. That's really okay. disappointing. Sorry. Uh, Towns, I'll try and persuade him. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple of months. <laughs> I'll poke the bear. Uh, 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 uh. All right, this one's I'll, from- so I won't say no. Say okay. unlikely. You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> uh, this one I think is from Skip. Just says Skip the question mark. Mm. Uh, G'day, Legends. Skip Bayless, probably? Yeah, probably, probably Skip Bayless. Probably Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless. I, I wrote Skip. Just, it's a long email. Oh, Charlie wanted me to skip this email, but you know what? Oh, yeah. I'm reading it. <laughs> Charlie's Charlie's told that. Yeah. Oh, well, skip. Skip could be a name, Charlie. I'm going to give, give you 30 that. seconds. Nah, it's a long no, email no. and it's a good one. Okay, good legends like and it. nah, let's not fuck around. You're all legends. No heroes here. Nice. Okay. Given the conversation around this new Tasmania team, I decided to run a recent thought by your captain brains um, to see what you think, if you deem it a worthy of a five-minute chinwag. So are you guys ready for a, chi- a five-minute chinwag? Are we skipping the long email? No, we're not. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I thought it was – okay, great. So we're having a five-minute chinwag. Great. Well, we got time at podcast. That That's a true. very fucking good point, Dan. Yeah. Okay. Given the recently discussed funding for the new Tassie Stadium and its potential shortfalls, to help this out, I'd love to see a merger between the failed AFL franchises of Gold Coast and GWS. Ooh. Imagine the Gold Coast Giants. Failed. I'm from SA originally, a Bombers fan, and for the last two years lived on the Gold Coast. A few years ago during the COVID hubs, we had North Melbourne, Essendon and Sydney teams travel up here. One fixture at Metricon, now HBS, was North v Essendon followed by GWS v Sydney. Now, this was the year where Kangas and Bombers were a uh, fucking shithouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, North is, North is still are, but now they have Clarko. Yet I'd not seen That's so many shit. supporters Very at Metricon shit. Stadium since moving there. At quarter time of the first game between North and Essendon, yep. all the food stands had run out of their food. Wow. They'd give, uh, they had to get in external contractors for halftime and then GWS and Sydney game that followed um, oh, for, for that game. Remember, the people attending could only have been uh, – people living on the Gold Coast as they were under full border controls at the time, so mm-hmm. the support was local. Um, these are all going to eventually be relate, uh, relaying points. It shows that the support is there for AFL in the Gold Coast, but who wants to back for a red and yellow team called the fucking Suns with <laughs> piss-poor logo? Nobody. <laughs> Biggest marketing flop of all time. It's now, just imagine shit. the merger. Gold Coast Giants, unreal bloody name. It actually has a better ring to it by far than the current individual franchises. Um, That's probably true. Uh, all right, so work uh, work smarter, not harder. Two birds, one stone. We're talking Green King, Cornelio, Lucas, Lucas, Oh, you should have let him keep going there, Green, Amish. Ainsworth, Ward, Raul, Anderson, Miller, Wits, Daniels, Himmelberg, Lemons, Long, Whitfield, Haynes, Kelly. There's a premiership. Lemons, <laughs> <Sean> Lemons. <laughs> I love that he got a gig. Yeah, he got a name. Um, yeah. There's a premiership. Uh, team in the waiting for the next five years. <laughs> Sean Levin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they'll all take pay cuts and play in a five peat rather than having three struggling clubs, which mm. Tassie will be at the start. Yes. Give Tassie all the early draft picks because the Gulf Coast Giants will be sweet. Um, I'm not going to read any more. I'm just going to throw it to you for thought. So, it, so when Charlie said to skip, he was probably right, wasn't how much, he? No, how much more did the ML have to go? I don't Three want to- paragraphs. Oh, my God. But, uh, look, look, let's just throw, <laughs> that, yeah, no, let's just throw that thought out there. Yeah. I'm not- <clears throat> What's the thought? Do you want to merge, merge the two teams? Yes, merge? I do. I wanted to go through this email in depth. It's a fucking good email. I think it's a really fucking good idea. Gold Coast merging with GWS, making the Gold Coast Giants. Yes, GWS has had some success. I understand they made a grand final. Mm-hmm. But realistically, it hasn't been that successful. No. They don't have that good of a team. No. Imagine pulling them both together. Yeah, it'd be pretty impressive. It kind of goes against the whole um, – you know, uh, reason that they moved there in the first place and expansion and like trying to, you know, take get over the New South Sydney Wales, blah, blah, blah. I get but all they're that. They're not going to do that ever. NRL's got a lock on that place and in Queensland. So, yes. like, okay, sweet. But I agree. I think it's an excellent idea. It also gets you back to 18 clubs, which is nice. Yep. But I'm we're not going to 20. Just so we know, 
We're not going to 20. There's not going to be the gonna be broom NTT. badges. There's not going to be not the, be the, Territory the Cairns Cowboys. <laughs> not going to happen. We're not going to 20. There's not going to be an extra Melbourne the team. The Darwin Dolphins. There's not going to be the Darwin Dolphins. There's not going to be Alice Spring assholes. It's not going to happen. Okay. Mm. We're getting 18 The Cooper Pedy Coppers. So either you're going to have to – you're going to have to – the Coppers. You're going to have to – Well, actually, they'd be the moles. You're going to have to put your uncle's team, the North Melbourne Kangaroos, up to one of these teams and merge, right? No, no. Well, who's another Melbourne team that's going to merge? Well, they just wouldn't. Right. So Gold Coast so and Gold GWS Coast and need to merge together. Basically, that's the summary mm. of that because you – you're not going to put another team in Adelaide. You're and not you, putting and another team in Perth. You put them in the Perth. Gold Coast, right? You merge. You might put you, another team in Perth, actually. You'd merge to the Gold Coast. I just want to keep that open for later content. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I like it. Okay. I anything like else, it anything why I padded for you? Was there anything good in the last three paragraphs? No, I had a quick read. Okay, that was great. basically the gist of it. Okay, That's great. a great email. It's from Mark. Very good. Thank Mark. you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Mark. Not, not skip. Skip by us. <laughs> yeah, not skip. Charlie, in the future, if you want something skip, just delete it and then Dan can't do anything about <laughs> skip? it. Skip? <laughs> yeah, skip it. I don't know. All right, let's get some fines. Uh, the new way to submit fines. I, I, I thought there was a sting and I realised there was no sting. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, Backchatpodcast.com.au forward slash fines. Uh, you just record a message <coughs> on your phone. It's that easy. Send it in. Uh, we donate these funds that we um, that you put in as a fine to Men's Talk, Socket to Sarcoma and Sabre. Let's listen to the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saxon Sounders here and I am um, fining Will Schofield mm. for having – a hairline that goes so far back that it's in a different time zone to the rest of his head. Okay, so it's like receded so much that it's in black and white. I even got Sherlock Holmes to try and investigate where it's gone, and even he couldn't crack that case. I even <laughs> need to call the SES just to find it certain days. Still going. Mate, the police declared your hairline dead. 10 years ago and you're still trying to resuscitate it. That's at least a $5 fine for the big man. You know what was fucking called dead, Saxon? That fucking gag, mate. As soon as you started speaking, Saxon. That was just, that was slightly mean. Mean? Who gives a fuck? I don't give a mean. No, Saxon, look, if you're going to come at me, mate, don't be thinking of it on the fly, mate. Mm. Seriously. (laughs) SES, Sherlock Holmes, he's dead. Uh, not- he was fictitious. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> think he was real. <laughs> I don't think he's dead. He's dead. He was never alive. Rest, rest, in, a- rest in peace, Sherlock Holmes. All right, peace. Respect right, Because you get that tattooed on your neck. All right, peace, Sherlock Holmes. I'm going to get it on my ass. I am bald, though. Very good, you Saxon. Are. Thanks yep. for that observation. Okay. Go fuck yourself. What's going on, footy punters and uh, Hammer? Oh, yeah. It's your boy, Mahatma, coming me. I'm uh, just currently sitting at the MCG and I uh, want to give out two fines today. Is one to MCG? the old Rashfest wearing Wally Daniel Const. Uh, $5, mate. Come on. You want to get a tattoo and you, you want us to give you an option. You're telling me you're not getting a Rashfest tattoo right in between your pepperonis, mate, in the middle of your chest. That would just be absolutely primal. Yes. And uh, seconds to the Richmond supporter in the Medallion Club sitting behind me who just vomited all over himself and got kicked out. <laughs> Uh, poor four mate come on keep it together it's uh, 2pm on a, on a Saturday children around get your act together have a good one gents I like it <laughs> actually from the G live at the yeah. G that's up there with one of the better finds <laughs> yeah, on yeah that's great and footy punters and me because obviously not that too so thank you very much for keeping that one all above board yeah and I like the little whack and little drive by it's very mm-hmm. good mm. g'day legends and Dan, it's Willie B. Hardigan here. Just wanted to send a fine to anyone who had a say in the votes for the Backman's comp last week because mm-hmm. um, you gave the one vote to Aaron Francis who immediately was dropped a week later for having an absolute stinker. <laughs> Got seven touches, so $7 fine for you blokes. Cheers. <laughs> yes, Still we give him a vote, do we? He did Backman things. How do we yeah. give Aaron Francis a vote? Seriously. I'm not sure. Well, so you you enough, couldn't even name who he played for last <laughs> yeah, week. Yeah, no, I couldn't. Do you know I was now? still thinking, yeah, Sydney. I was okay. still thinking Essendon. But, <laughs> That's um, correct. Nah, here we go. G'day, Muscle Squirt and Squire. Just two dollar fine here. I think I'm Muscle to myself That's for good. spewing at my girlfriend's parents' wedding oh. and making them be the ones to clean it up. Love the pod. See you, lads. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that's it. No further needed. What is spewing awesome. going on? Yeah, heaps. Like like Terry Wallace style. <laughs> Spew up. Hey guys, Jared here. Uh, Five dollar fine goes out to Will Schofield. Straight down the line. Just had a quick look at his stats on the Waffle website, and his buyer has him listed at ninety eight kilos, oh, even though he tipped the scales at one hundred and seven in the Fat Chat <laughs> Weight Loss Challenge. Uh, so Scoey, not good enough, mate. Even though you're retired, you might want to let the statisticians know just for future reference. Cheers, boys. 
Not oh, fair enough. Jared, what do you want me to do? Just quickly do a quick fucking ring hey, around yeah. between the media. Hey, guys, just so we know, I need my listed just weight so to we be know correct. I wonder what mine is. Mine would probably be 98. I would be uh, I would be 108 at the moment. I'm quickly padding, quickly yeah. padding. Thanks, we'll go to the next, or is that, that's all the fines. It doesn't say what I am. There you go. That's all right. We'll find that in Patreon. Yeah, yeah, we'll find that on Patreon. Uh, we're, we're, there's VIP codes for all the following things. Our, all our sponsors, all our partners, River Snapper Whiskey, Moat River Roasting Co., Blue Bet, Shelter Brewing Co., Leadable Cameras, of course, Swimply, and Fleet Network. Before we leave. I'm 98. Before I'm, we leave. 98 kilos on the waffle. Before we leave, I have a breaking news <laughs> text message Great. that I'm going to have to talk about on Patreon. What's it about? Uh, the The... Upcoming captain of the West Coast Eagles. Mm-hmm. I won't say who that is, okay. but you can do your own maths if you've been listening along to the podcast. It's mm-hmm. just text me with some breaking, breaking news. So if you want to hear saucy. it and you're not a patron, you're going to have to sign up. And this is right here, right? Do I have a message from Tom Brassier? I, I mean, do oops. Have a okay, I do bye. Have a See you next week. <laughs> yeah.